So now, if we are so powerful that from within the construct, we can make the construct obey our will, what do you think we're going to be like when, when he comes to set the captives free? What do you think we're going to be like when we are no longer bogged down and immersed in this containment field? We're going to be very, very powerful. And this is the reason why the Oversoul has been so patient as to allow us to live through hundreds, maybe thousands of life sims. To receive an internal inheritance that is so profound that, that we are going to be given so much power necessitates an eternal maturity, an eternal personality that will use that power favorably. Somebody made a mistake in antiquity and that mistake is not going to be replicated. That's why we're going through what we're going through now. This is for our eternal development. This is for our growth. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're here. Yes, we're here to solve problems. Those problems may have already been solved. The future has already happened multiple times. There have been mistakes, and the past had to be rewritten. The past had to be restarted. Re whole systems had to be rebooted while we were inside the system, for whatever reason. But to us on the inside... We interpret this as a reset. We interpret this as a cataclysm. We interpret this as the Phoenix phenomenon. But on the outside, it was programming that was rebooted. It was changed. The entire reality tunnel dynamic of the holosphere was altered. All trajectories were altered for whatever reason. Perhaps those on the outside figured out what they were fi trying to figure out. Because reality is far more complex than, than we are led to believe from the religious perspective. I believe outside this avatar of Jason, the real personality, which is assumed the avatar Jason, when it returns, because it's dormant out there right now, because it's experiencing everything in here, but when it returns out there, it's going to remember who he was, who, who, or he, he or, who he or she was. I believe I have been female. I believe that I have been black. I have been Asian. I have been many because the only way that the Oversoul can guarantee that I'm going to be very, very mature in my spirituality is to make sure that I have lived so many different types of, per, so many different types of lives that my perspectives will be many. Because remember, the three spiritual qualities, empathy, absolutely mandates that you feel what others have felt. And the only way you're truly going to feel what others have felt is if you were those others at different periods of time. This is what I believe. You can call it reincarnation. You can call it whatever you want to. I call it life sims. Because as soon as I exit this one, I don't believe that uh, instantly be reborn into an now I believe there's a debriefing period. I believe I go back to where I really am. I may I may go to I may go to dinner with somebody. I don't know. I might uh, uh, take off my cerebral interface interface holography headset, put it off to the side, think about what I went through. Say, damn, I was Jason. I did 26 years in prison. Oh my God, I was a knucklehead. I said, but I had a pretty good YouTube channel. Uh, everything was pretty neat. That was really really weird life. That's pretty interesting. Uh, but the entire thing, episode, may have lasted 2.5 hours in the real universe. Everything here is entirely subjective. And we can't measure the physics and the... Because remember, this is all based off quantum principles. And, under, and in quantum principles, we can have a timeline within a timeline. Within a timeline, within another timeline. The quantum universe is not like the Newtonian universe. The quantum universe is a multiverse. It's a multiverse of activity. And this is the real, this is the real type of structuring that the simulacrum is based off of. Because the, remember, the simulacrum is a copy. A copy implies there's a real one somewhere. We're inside, we're inside a copy inside a real universe. We may be inside multiple copies. I'm not really sure yet. I don't have all the answers. I got, a, I got a bunch of them though. But when it comes to 
But when it comes to, like, like I said, I'm, I'm real critical of the law of attraction. I've already explained that in other videos because there's, there's, there's things are just not, they're not following through. It's not all about thinking. It's not all about feeling. Whole, they're all about thinking and feeling. But you know what? When it comes to the law of attraction, the only ones getting really rich are the ones that are promoting law of attraction. Their followers aren't getting rich, but uh, or at least they're not leaving comments on those channels saying they are. So it's a feedback loop. So the ones putting out the information are the ones receiving from everybody else about it. So, but when it comes to when it comes to your own immortalhood, you have to realize that everything around you is the exact opposite of what it should be. It says we are living within a copy of the universe. We have to invent. Which is a lie. You have, look, call it what it is. I mean, some of you might be morally offended about my statement about about 20 minutes ago, but that's what the simulacrum does. It takes immortals, beings, our thoughts, and for us to create reality, it really it makes us lie. There's no other way around it, because to imagine something that has not yet happened in our life and yet have faith that it's happening in our life, and then act as if it did happen in my life, is a lie. There's no way around that. It's an absolute deception. We are forced in the simulacrum to deceive ourselves, and yet believe that deceit, in order for the programming to be effective. To hell of a catalyst. That is negative default programming.